Hello there, royal family. West Side with it. It's your girl Lay of Natural Lay. And today we're going to do a quick video on how to fix a candle for Santa Muerte. This is actually going to be part one of a two part video. So, in this video, I will share with you um, some offerings that you can give her, as well as how to actually dress and prepare the candle. And in part two, I will give you a sigil or a seal to go with your petition and how to write out um, a very effective petition along with a prayer. So that is what this will be. So first and foremost, we have our La Santísima Muerte candle. This one is white. As we know, white is universal. So anything that you wanna work with her for, if you are able to find her candle in white, or even if you have a plain white candle, you are more than welcome to use it and it will still be just as effective as if you wanted to use the black or the red as they are commonly uh, um, also found in. And if you are unfamiliar, um, Santa Muerte is the personification of, and she is known as the goddess of death. Now, many people use her for baneful magic. This channel is not a baneful channel, baneful magic channel. <laughs> and so, um, but in overall, the goddess of death, she's also used for love, prosperity, good health, reading notes, um, good health, fortune, healing, safe passage, protection against witchcraft, against assaults, against gun violence, against violent death, protection of various jobs, and outcasts. So um, a lot of people know that uh, La Santísima Muerte is used by narcos. It, is, it does not have that stigma that is strictly media-based. However, you know, whatever the person is into that they need protection from, they know exactly who to go to. Now, this candle can be found in the seven-day glass candle, as we see here. And we've also seen it, it kind of looks like a cup, just like this, but in a wider form. And then again, if you cannot find her candle specifically um, and you see her with the scythe, you can also use a plain candle. And if you have the opportunity to print out her picture, you can make your own Santissima Muerte candle and cover your plain candle. Um, candle colors are very specific. Um, again, white is neutral. If you wanted to use black, you would be using that for more darker magic, etc., etc. So... Some of her offerings include tequila, an apple or fruit, so red as we know is for like love, abundance, and prosperity. And also we have some pasteles or uh, some pan dulce. So we got some pan dulce from the Salvadorian restaurant around the corner. So these are what I will be offering Santa Muerte this time around. And now we're going to go ahead and fix the candle. So I have already pre-smudged the candle. Make sure you smudge your candles first to make sure that the energies from it, um, the store, the handler, shipper, manufacturer are not uh, there. You want your energy to be, excuse me, placed within this candle. So I've already smudged her. I've actually just burned a, an ancestor money offering. So I did smudge her with the smoke of the ancestor money, which pro tip you can do. So now that she's all smudged, we're going to go ahead and take our black pen. Um, you can use another color, black. I just kind of want to tap into the darkness and the ether that we all come from. And I'm going to poke seven holes clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So as you can see, there are now seven holes within the candle. Seven is a spiritual number, and we want the herbs and the oil to penetrate the candle. We don't want it to just all float at the top. So now that we have our candles, I personally like to start with the oils. So I'm going to start with her oil. So I do have Holy Death Santa Muerte oil. I've seen this in black, red, green. This is more of like a dark green. So we're going to use her Holy Death oil. And you don't want to use too much oil. Um, and if you do 
happen to overuse oil, let your candle sit so that way it can like saturate and dry up before burning because you don't want to cause a fire hazard. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a capful and evenly distribute it into every hole. And of course with your herbs and oils, with everything you're going to put into the candle, you want to make sure you're thinking and or speaking your intention. So that way all of the ingredients know exactly what to do. And if I did not mention, I am this particular candle is being dressed for wealth and prosperity and abundance. So that seems pretty good. You can kind of see. Her oil smells really good. The next oil I'm going to use is Bayberry. Bayberry is a fantastic money drawing oil. So we're going to use, this is a big cap, so we'll use half of this cap of Bayberry oil. And this is a recipe that has been proven to work. I actually did write down some results from the first time I did this. And I also do extensive research. So this isn't um, done off of a whim or with surface knowledge. I really did my research. If I'm able to, I'll put the links in the description below so you can see where I got my information from. But um, yeah, I don't, you, you, you know this channel. We don't come to you with anything crazy or anything not proven um, or not from reputable sources. Okay, that seems pretty good. The next oil we're going to use is bergamot. So, and if you have a dropper style oil, you can put one drop in each hole. And again, you want to think and speak your intentions over it. And I'm actually going to do a double whammy of the oil. The next one is frankincense. This one's oh, e, it's a lot. <laughs> It smells so good too. I, woo. Let me know down in the comments if you decide to use this recipe. Of course, there are a couple other special ingredients I'm not going to show you. I have some powders that I have made. I have an ancestral gratitude powder as well as a success powder. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> and I also have a money drawing oil that I've made. So I'm going to add a little bit of all those after these main ingredients. But these ingredients, though, will get you where you want to go and get you the results that you would like. So the first herb we're going to add is skullcap. Skullcap is a great money drawing herb, bringing in gifts of money. I'm gonna crush it up just a little bit more and then we're gonna go ahead and fill each hole in this candle with this herb. Some people bless their herbs beforehand. I kind of like to bless it all at the same time. So as I'm speaking the intentions, it's kind of also getting blessed. But at the end of adding each ingredient, um, once I feel it's ready, then I will go ahead and bless it with the Anabakoa prayer. If you're familiar with this channel, you know about that prayer. Our next herb is chamomile. Chamomile also brings in money and... Uh, attracts gifts of money so we're going to crush this up a little bit and again you want to keep your herbs away from the wick so after I add the last herb I will show you what I mean but you want your herbs to be slightly fine you don't want them to be big again we do not want this to be a fire hazard so even if you have like a molcajete to grind your herbs up in and even make it a powder, that would be amazing as well. And we waste nothing. <laughs> 
And last but not least, we're going to add some rose petals just to bring in that love, to show love and all that good stuff. We want this to be high vibratory. There's some buds here. So we're going to crush this up in the hand a little bit. That seems... Can even do that. And go around the candle. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So we see how the herbs are near the wick. We're going to get our pen. You can use your finger and literally move the herbs away from the wick. So that way it does not catch fire. We want to practice fire safety. You can even shove some down there in the holes, but keep them all away from the wick, okay? That looks pretty good. Awesome. Last but certainly not least, we're going to add our glitter. Spirits like things that are pretty. So I have mica gold powder, metallic gold powder. We're going to add a plop of that to signify gold and abundance and just all the gold in the world. Oh, big plop. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So we have our gold in there, and then we're also going to top it off with some gold, silver, and green glitter just to signify wealth and abundance in all shape, form, sizes, and currencies. and green and voila you have just prepared your santa muerte candle for wealth abundance and prosperity so i hope you enjoyed let me know down in the comments if you decide to try this recipe and to try uh, this specific candle fixing let me know your results i again will make a part two with how to write a, a, a successful petition and a seal and prayer for Santa Muerte. So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. And don't you ever forget to stay magical always. Mwah. Luna La Negra out.